Ladies and gentlemen, I am holding in my formerly pizza grease stained fingers an email that I received from my new best friend, Thomas. Now, normally I just ignore and delete emails from my adoring fans, but because this question was so basic, so common, so core and fundamental to the two way radio lifestyle, I decided to make an entire video about it, even though I have already made several other videos answering his exact same question. And if he ever actually bothered to watch any of my videos, he would already have his answer. But irregardless of that, as I mentioned only a moment ago, Tony is my new best friend, so I am being extra nice. In his email to me, my new best friend in the world, Thomas, basically asked me, what frequencies he can use safely without casting any unnecessary gooberment scrutiny in his direction. Ladies and gentlemen, I think the reason that Timmy and I hit it off so well is because I can relate with his disdain for gooberment interference, because we very clearly both have a PhD, a pretty huge distrust in Guberment. So this is my very simple answer to his question. And the simple answer is, there is no simple answer. And the reason that there is no simple answer is because our overlords at the FCCs have made it very, very confuculating. Allow me to elaborate. According to our overlords at the FCCs, if you are using a ham radio, such as this Boofwang UV5R, you are only allowed to transmit on the ham radio frequencies, and you must also have a ham radio license. With a GMRS radio such as this TID radio TDH3, you are only permitted to transmit on GMRS frequencies, and you must have a GMRS license, which is not the same as a ham radio license. However, if you transmit on GMRS frequencies using a FRS radio, which uses the exact same frequencies as a GMRS radio, no license is required. With a MERS radio, which I do not have, but I'm sure you can imagine, when transmitting on a MERS radio, no license is needed, and you must transmit only on the MERS frequencies. And it is pretty much the same for CB radio. There is also a special class of radios known as LMR, or business type radios, such as this, Motorola XTS 5000. This is what businesses, fire, ambulance, etc. use. For one of these radios, you may only transmit on the Pacific frequency that the FCCs say you may transmit on based on the FCC's business license that one must have in order to use one of these radios. Stay with me now. So if you have a ham radio and a ham radio license, but you transmit on GMRS frequencies, you would be breaking the rules. If you have a GMRS radio, but no license, and you transmit on GMRS frequencies, you would be breaking the rules. But if you have a GMRS radio and a GMRS license, or an FRS radio with no license, and you transmit on the GMRS frequencies, you are breaking no rules. However, as my new best buddy Troy pointed out in the very first line of his email, he cares not about what the FCCs and by the transitive property, the government says he can or cannot do. What he wants to know is what can he get away with without making anyone sad? So with that in mind, if we consider what our overlords at the FCCs have actually busted people for in the last 10 years or so, based on their public record of enforcement, here is what one might surmise. First of all, you definitely want to stay away from the business or LMR frequencies. Those frequencies are what the first responders, fire, police, and ambulance and businesses use. And there is a very good chance that just randomly using one of those frequencies at random, you would garner yourself some sort of attention, none of it being the good kind of attention. Allow us now to move our attention to the ham radio frequencies. 
over 200 years ago, our overlords at the FCCs, back then they weren't even called the FCCs yet, verily I say unto you that in those days they were known as the Federal Airwaves Government Service. Irregardless of what you call them, they set aside the ham radio frequencies for our licensed ham radio brothers to use. Although, based on the FCC's own record of enforcement, it seems that the FCC does not really care who uses the ham radio frequencies. However, using a ham radio frequency without a ham radio license would likely catch the attention of some people, and at a minimum, you would have to listen to a bunch of licensed ham radio operators whine and complain and make empty threats every time you try to use one of their precious ham radio frequencies. So because of this, ham radio frequencies would not be my first choice of frequencies to use if your goal is to avoid attention. This leaves us with GMRS, FRS, MERS, and CB radio frequencies. I will not discuss CB radio because everybody knows that CB radio is dead and nobody would ever use those frequencies. So this leaves us with the GMRS and FRS frequencies, which I mentioned only moments ago, are the exact same thing. And then, of course, we still have the MERS frequencies. GMRS and FRS, as mentioned only moments ago, both use the exact same frequencies, and in most areas of these United States of America, those frequencies are all muchly crowded. And whatever you do, do not try to get smart and try to use some random frequency between the GMRS or FRS channels, because the GMRS and FRS radio band is not a continuous range of frequencies. Verily I say unto you that there are 22 specific frequencies in the range of 462 my gigahertz, and there are many frequencies between each of those 22 channels. However, those frequencies between the channels are usually assigned as LMR or business frequencies, which, as I just told you moments ago, you definitely want to stay away from. So you could use any of the 22 GMRS or FRS frequencies, which you can very easily find listed on your Google machine. However, you would still have the issue of other people listening in or interfering with your transmissions. And of course, as already mentioned only moments ago, if you are using a ham radio, and if your ham radio will even transmit on those frequencies, you are still technically breaking the FCC's rules. However, because these frequencies are intended for public use, based on the enforcement record of the FCCs, they do not really seem to care very much at all what kind of radio you use on these frequencies. Another range of GMRS-related frequencies is the eight repeater input frequencies. These are the frequencies that GMRS radios use to transmit to a repeater and they are different from the standard 22 GMRS channels. Indeed, it is a fact that these eight frequencies are all in the 467 my gigahertz range, and according to the FCC's own decree, you may transmit on them at up to 50 watts. And it just so happens that I am aware of many people that use these eight GMRS repeater input frequencies to communicate amongst themselves, because these frequencies are not usually very crowded, and most people are not even aware that they exist. However, using these frequencies, it is possible to cause interference to nearby GMRS repeaters, which could draw unnecessary attention, and you cannot use most regular GMRS radios to easily transmit or receive on these eight magical frequencies. So you would have to use an unlocked GMRS radio or an unlocked ham radio, and as I already mentioned only moments ago, that would be in conflict with the FCC's rules. And this leaves us with the red-headed stepchild of the two-way radio world, MERS, which the FCC has decreed can be used with no license if you are using a MERS radio. MERS is not very popular and most people have never even heard of MERS, which means those frequencies do not get a lot of attention. In fact, the MERS has only five frequencies, but the chances are that pretty much wherever you live, you will not hear anything on any of those five channels. And this makes MERS frequencies 
which you can very easily look up on your Google machine, another very good choice for someone not wanting to attract attention. However, as mentioned only moments ago, the FCC's hath decreed that doubt must useth only MERS approved radios to transmit on MERS frequencies. But my new friend Todd says that he does not care about that. So as you can see, as I mentioned at the beginning of this very video, there is no good, simple, easy answer to Troy's question. <laughs>